to BCSD News. In case you missed it, here's a look at what's been happening in the Bakersfield City School District, where children come first. The health and safety of our students and staff is our top priority. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues, the Bakersfield City School District announced schools will remain closed through at least May 1st, 2020. All BCSD schools will be closed for all purposes, with the exception of the distribution of nutrition for our students. Be advised locations of meal pickups may change in the near future. The first day back at school for students will be Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Teachers and staff will return on Monday, May 4th to meet with administrators, receive professional development, and to prepare classrooms for the return of students. For the most up-to-date information on meal pickups and future distance learning opportunities, please go to the BCSD website or follow BCSD on social media. Speaking of nutrition for our students, it's truly a labor of love. We're here ultimately for our kids. We know that there's a great need for food. I get emotional about it because there's a lot of kids here in our district that won't have meals if we're not here providing for them. We cannot thank our BCSD Nutrition Services Department enough. These men and women continue to meet the needs of our students day after day, serving more than 20,000 students each day, providing our students and families with comfort and support during this time. And we're really excited and happy that we're able to provide this service for them. And it's nice to be able to see their faces. The kids are excited to be able to see the staff members out and about and to be able to converse with us every day as we're handing out food. 90% of BCSD students qualify for free and reduced meals. Without these dedicated men and women, many of our students would face hunger. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessing. To our BCSD nutrition teams, our students rely on you and you continue to be there for them. We are grateful to each and every one of you. We have much more appreciation to share. To our warehouse staff, you have been able to ensure our nutrition staff receives the essential deliveries required to prepare meals. Without your effort, our students would not have healthy meals prepared for them. Without your effort, our students would face hunger. Thank you. To our maintenance and operations staff, thank you for taking care of our schools and ensuring when staff returns, our classrooms and schools will be clean and ready to receive students. Without your effort, our schools would not be ready to welcome our students back. We appreciate you and your dedication to Team BCSD. To our fiscal services and human resources staff, you are leading our district by ensuring staff is taken care of. You continue the work that needs to be done to make sure staff is supported. Without your effort, our staff could not report serious health concerns, have their needs met, and would not be paid for their employment. Thank you for all that you do. Enough materials in here to do one craft per day for four kids. It was an unexpected act of kindness. Sergeant Nicole Anderberg shared craft bags with students picking up meals at Emerson Middle School. Sergeant Anderberg patrols the Emerson neighborhood and knew Pastor Janelle at Stockdale Christian had extra craft supplies. So she asked to share the fun learning tools with students in her patrol area. We know it made our students happy. Thank you, Sergeant Anderberg, for your incredible kindness. There you go, thank you. Yes, thank you. Be safe. This week, distance learning packets were handed out to BCSD students. 100 pages of creative and engaging learning for students TK through 8th grade. We want to really make sure and encourage parents to make sure they come and pick up these packets with their students, uh, that they potentially sit down with them and guide them through, set them on a schedule. Um, that they can mimic as much as possible to a school-like uh, structure, starting from the very morning through until you know at least two o'clock, and they are actively uh, learning as much as possible during that time. Keep them in a structured schedule is what I would promote. Thank you to each of our schools for helping provide our students with this continued learning opportunity. And another shout out to our curriculum and instruction department for creating these packets. Check out these photos of BCSD students working on their distance learning packets. We want to see more of our learners. Share a photo on social media of your student learning at home. Make sure to use the hashtag BCSDLearns so we can find the photo and highlight the great work by your student. Isler Eagle Soar, we miss you! 
Staying connected with our students is important during this time. This teacher parade is one way Eisler teachers are staying in touch with their students. Teachers decorated their vehicles, hopped in, and slowly drove around the Eisler neighborhood, honking and waving at students. And we're really excited to get to see a lot of our students, and that's why we're, why we're doing this, is to kind of, you know, tell them we're still here for you, um, we miss you, we're really excited to get to see everyone today, and we really want to let them know, you know, to go ahead and continue uh, that learning at home. Students were pretty excited to see some familiar faces. Thank you for teaching us! Thank you! Thank you, Hi, Thank Thank you for teaching us! That's it for this edition of BCSD News. Make sure to follow us on social media for the latest happening in the district. Thanks for watching.